And even though I try and sneak around them, the dogs both immediately bring the wrestling match right back to me. My knees may regret their choice, but the rest of me is glad for it. Working with Ridgebacks, wild and independent nature is so much more fruitful than trying to work against it. They're not labs or bird dogs or any other eager to please breed and expecting them or training them in that fashion is a recipe for frustration. Trust me on this one. Free yourself from that expectation and you're gonna free yourself from so many of the headaches along the way. It'll free your pup from frustration too and hopefully save you a few shoes and couches along the way. The biggest benefit personally for shifting the way I think about training dogs shows up with how my dogs are around my kids. By rewarding my dogs for doing nothing in response to pokes and prods and loud noises, Penny and Zero now actively choose to ignore and avoid the stimuli. I conditioned the choice by slowly acclimating them to it and heavily rewarding them for it. It's impossible to have eyes on my children and dogs 100% of the time, and I can't rely on chance or commands to keep them safe. Choice-based training provides an additional layer of security and comfort by empowering my dogs to make the default choice I want them to make. And the principle holds true across the board, from loose leash walking, to crate training, to barking at doorbells, to separation anxiety, and just about everywhere else. If you identify the choice you want your Ridgeback to make, set them up with the opportunity to make that choice and reliably reward them for it, the results are pretty amazing. There's a number of great trainers who have different ways of implementing this choice-based technique, and I recommend you research it in depth. If you need a place to start, Susan Garrett and Karen Pryor are two well-known trainers with lots of great resources on this framework. I strongly believe choice-based training is the single most effective tool for training Ridgebacks in particular. So often our frustrations are really self-sabotage, and choice-based training provides a better way. A confident Ridgeback owner doesn't impose their will on their dog. They share it with them. Lead with this type of confidence, and your Ridgeback will choose to follow. Uh, I'm also hoping this works on kids because it's basically my parenting strategy too. So I'll update you guys in about 18 years.